Welcome back. It's 648 and we're talking about weather that's very spring-like and yet it looks very wintry outside this morning. Yeah, Kevin Shrey joining us now to look at our forecast. But right now, this, this live shot of the 99 uh, near Panama, you can see uh, pr pretty foggy right there. You can see a bus moving by too. It's fog light on. In some areas of the county, seeing it more dense than others, that's why we have several fog delays, Kev. Yeah, and uh, the 99 near Panama is uh, real dense right now, so just watch your speed. But we take a look at the camera network, and if you're coming to downtown, there's really nothing to show you right now. It's uh, nice and clear. Uh, we have a little bit of patchy fog near Mohawk and Rosedale, but not bad. You see it in the distance there, and of course, the mountain areas are free and clear of that. So it's really the outline areas and along the 99 near Panama where we're seeing the most of it. 41 on the temperature for delay. 47 in Shafter, Bakers Hill at 49, then we've got 40s and 50s into the mountains. To Hatchby, you're at 52. Here's a look at the visibility map, and you can see some of that fog that is being picked up, more so to the north, and we do have that fog advisory in place, stretching into the Delano area now until 11 a.m., so just keep that in mind if you're going to be traveling more northbound, but again, even some of our outlying areas around Bakersfield are seeing the fog. So here's the latest on the delays. Lakeside Union, two hours. Arvin on a two hour buses only delay. Rosedale, two hours. Rio Bravo Greeley, three hour delay there. Richland, you're on a two hour. General Shafter, two hours. And then in the Kern High School District, two hours for Arvin and Shafter only. So wanted to make sure you have all those updated fog delays this morning and watch your speed. Nothing over the I-5 right now. As you can see, the Great Line is looking good if you're headed that direction. A few clouds moving into the northern part of the state, but all other areas are looking very high and dry and actually warm this afternoon. But I want to touch on the atmosphere river that is on the way and this is on Wednesday as this system starts to make its way out of the north tapping into that moisture out into the Pacific it will arrive for us on Thursday possibly late Wednesday night more so into Thursday into Friday then we'll start to dry out a little bit we get a break on Saturday another system developing out here to the west by Sunday that could bring more rain our direction so for the Thursday Friday storm we're looking between a half and three quarters of an inch here in the valley with mountain uh, areas seeing three quarters to one inch so this is definitely going to bring some measurable rain to the area. And I want to remind everybody, when these storms roll on in and you're going to be on the roadways, you're going to be traveling, make sure you have good windshield wipers. I have made the mistake of not checking my windshield wipers in the past. I go to turn them on and the plastic stripping just falls apart. So make sure you have good working uh, wipers. Uh, check those tires. That helps with the uh, tread and the traction on the roadways. Make sure you have a full tank of gas, safe speed. And if you're going to be in a long distance travel, make sure you have water and food as well. And even some blankets. Today, we're looking at morning fog and mostly sunny and warm. Bakers Hill, right near 76, 75 in Mettler, 74 to the north in Delano, and then Taft at 73. For the mountains and the Kern River Valley, we're looking mostly sunny and 61 in Fraser Park, 64 in Tehachapi, 70s for the Kern River Valley today, and even a mild day at Alta Sierra at 59. And then for the desert, we're looking sunny in northeast wind, 10 to 15, 69 in Mojave, and Ridgecrest at 72. So here's a look at our extended forecast tomorrow, looking just as nice, 75, some morning fog once again, and then increasing clouds on on Wednesday, a chance of rain very late. It's going to be a very wet Thursday. And then into Friday, things taper off. We're looking dry on Saturday. And then on Sunday, another round of showers uh, moving our way. And then as you take a look at the mountains tomorrow, beautiful sunny skies in 63. We start to cool down with Thursday's rainmaker, snow level about 7,000 feet. And then we start to see things taper off on Friday. But the Sunday storm does look like a snow level could drop near 4,000 feet. I'm going to put 4,000 in there for now. Again, we'll tweak it but that one looks colder. As we take a look at the Kern River Valley, tomorrow, 72 and sunny, and then increasing clouds on Wednesday with a chance of rain late, a wet Thursday for you, and then uh, lingering into Friday before we start to see improvements in Saturday, mostly sunny, 47, with a chance of rain coming back in on Sunday. That's a good weather. Maddie, over to you.